Hey friendos, how's it going? It's the Enforcer here with another Jersey unboxing video. But before I get to that, I've been doing a little bit of something here. Now I have not gone ahead and got the um, shelving and stuff that I said I was going to, but I did go to an Ikea, test some stuff out, fit all that sizing and all that. And I think I'm very close to pulling the trigger to get the major overhaul done. But did a little bit of tweak in here with what's going on in the closet here with the jerseys. So we'll go on, show you what I've done. So I have installed my lights. Lights are up here. It was 20 bucks at Costco. Major uh, strip going all the way across. They even give me a handy dandy little remote so I can go on and stroll through different colors if I would like. I can go and, uh, and have it pulse. I can have it get to going like oh my goodness what's going on uh, um, all of the different colors go in there I can make it USA I can make it a candlestick whatever you want um, I guess I can make it go if I could maybe I don't know do this other stuff there you go I can get the lights a moving all that good stuff and I can just have it going however I want so that's pretty cool 20 bucks Costco they give you the um, I guess the little bracket I don't even want to say little brackets but the little plastic clips that they give you some screws you can very very small little screws going along there and then the system clamps into that and then with this I can go on and do that so that is fun and what what will be even better will be oh wait hold on can i do this and shut off this light there you go you can see a little bit better what that thing is it doing so that is cool i dig that that's fun upgrades to this oh my goodness look at that so little upgrades to the set like that add to it so that's what I went ahead and did. And second thing I did in here. Looks a little bit thinner. Looks a little bit easier on the contraption that is holding up these jerseys. And there's a reason for that. Um, on the way to the Ikea, I went to a Target. And I got some, um, the plastic bins. The ones, the... The ones that, that clamp closed and all that good stuff. And what I did is all of the predominantly white colored jersey, the light colored jerseys, folded them up very carefully, put them away to add some relief to what I have here. So with that being said, this is a little bit lighter. It's not so fluffed up as the ghetto bird rolls on by if you hear that let's see there it is it wanted to come by and say hello to you guys so with that being said i went ahead and made some relief here and i've got all my extras for my um hangers right here so i've taken jerseys out why not Let's add some jerseys into it, right? It, it When I bought these, it was the off-season. And still, unless I think at NHL.com, um, there's no refills yet. Hopefully this week, we may hear about some reverse retro announcements officially. That's very exciting. So look for me to do some videos on that. But what I will do here is this one was from the ebays okay um at first i was like when this thing went up i was like oh i don't need that jersey i don't i've got that one 
Um, as I was planning to clean this thing out and, and, you know, organize out and see what really catalog what's here. Because after a while, you, you may forget what's there. And I understand why the, the hockey guy will have a, um, a spreadsheet of what he has just to keep everything straight. I, I understand that. Um, so I didn't have this one. Um, and it wasn't high on my list of jerseys to find because of the predominant yellow nature of this jersey. But, hey, it's all good. And I think this one has actually been retired because they introduced a new third jersey. So, um, not that bad of a price. It was a bit um, um, inexpensive, but... The seller had good um, um, customer rating, no, no issue. And I think this was a um, um, like a, a, either a second hand or a thrift store or something like that. So take a look at this one. Okay. And yeah, this one here is the old Pittsburgh Penguins alternate jersey, the predominantly gold one in an arrow ready so let me see think yeah this one did not have tags on it yeah but as you guys are seeing here not that bad that big old penguin looking for some trouble he's gonna skate on by and find you some trouble so that one's cool all right let me slap this one on let's see what we got this one right here it sat there for a while. There was one that was more expensive that was customized. Had Latang on it. I was like, eh, okay on that. Latang's cool and all, but when I saw this one blank for 55 bucks, I was like, okay, I can, I can fill up the set. It's orange. Pretty cool. There that is. Like I said, 50, 55 bucks on, um, here, let me pick you guys up, 55 bucks, and it, it's got all the telltale signs, it, it, it looks real, it, all of everything here looks up to snuff, so hey, that's good. I won't go into an in-depth um, review on this one because I figure most people already have seen this one but what I can do is I can add it directly to the set so let me see there's one there's one but wait I'm gonna give you guys another one you know what because you guys have been good friendos out there and you know what a good friendo does they hit that like button and you know what another great thing that a friendo does if they're not subscribed, they go on and subscribe. That's what awesome friendos do. If you feel better about hitting it, cool. I like what Larry NHL does. It's like, hey, man, you hit that like button, you might feel better. I think I'm going to rip that off from you, Larry. Just for this one. I'm going to let you have them for all the rest. But this one, if it makes you feel better, hit that like. The dislike, don't hit that one. It's going to make me feel bad. Don't make me feel bad. Make yourself feel good with a like. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good day, night, wherever you may be. Hockey has just started up. I feel excited for my wings. I know they lost, um, as I'm filming this, they lost uh, the night before to the Kings. Uh, before that, nice 2-0, strong start. And, yeah. I'm excited for that. And there that one is. This one here, I like this one because it didn't hurt the wallet too much. And you know what? I'm okay with that. All right, so Pittsburgh's. Let me see, what are the other Pittsburgh's I have hanging in here? That's the other thing I can do now. Oh, I've got quite a few Pitts, got quite a few Pittsburgh's in here. Okay, so we've got this one here, okay. I've got old starter Robo Penguin. 
chilling right here. He's like, what's going on? How y'all doing? I've got the current home one, Adidas with a flurry. I like that one because he never wore an Adidas um, in Pittsburgh. Uh, this must have been done when Adidas was okay to make the jerseys. They didn't realize he was heading off to Vegas, and now then he went to Chicago and now Minnesota. He's been traveling a bit. And this third, this beautiful light blue Pittsburgh Penguins one, this beauty. That is a sharp looking color. Their current third, the old Snoop Dogg Pittsburgh. That one with the current Penguin logo, not Robo Penguin. And the other third, the winter classic one, the one with this nice scarf on him and felt. This one's another beauty, has that light blue. So those are the Pittsburghs that have survived in here. I think I do have some white Pittsburgh jerseys, but I have taken them out until space allocation goes back when I get everything fixed up here. So that was one. Thank you very much for Tuning in for that. There's nothing in here. Thank you, eBay person. I will give you a good review. And now this is one. This is one I sat on for a while because I was like, how am I going to explain this? It's been long enough. I'll go on and... Okay, there's... An, all right, making sure... See, what happens is I'll, I'll get a jersey and until I get to the unboxing, I very small and sometimes coated i write what's on the box and box or bag and then i put it away and sometimes the old noggin doesn't work the same way that it did before and i forget i think that happened once where i was like i don't know what's in this one but let's open it up and it turned out to be the uh, claude Giroux philadelphia reverse retro jersey that i picked up on a good deal um this one's from Sports K. Sports K, as always, giving the bestest of um, uh, packaging. Thank you, Sports K. Dear, dear friend, you are. And yeah, this one I I, uh, I picked up because actually Ben told me, to my surprise, that this jersey for him sold very well, and I was happy for him. I'm glad he didn't sit on any uh, any old stock of this. So then that led me to think, well, hell, what the hell am I missing? Or is it that I didn't get this? And then Sports K had this one show up. It is a uh, it is a factory name and number one. So already I'm kind of, eh. but that's fine. Um, the the descriptions for the ones last year said like. It, it, the name and number is not as bad as it was, like those bad vinyls from the first ones, first couple years. So I was like, you know what, okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll pick this one up because I may be missing out. You see anything else in here? <laughs> Sports K, you've done it again. What's in here now? What is this? Oh, okay. I've got a... Okay, there's just that. With the jersey that I bought, this one is a toque. And everyone always says, like, I'm, I'm Canadian. When we do the live streams with Stephen Larson, they go, Wow, Enforcer, I didn't know you were Canadian. I'm not. I'm not. Um, but uh, uh, have all the respect in the world for Canadians. Very polite people when I went up there, except for... Uh, one city um, in the province of Quebec. But other than that, everybody was fantastic people. So here's a toque of the Columbus Blue Jackets with the little fuzzy top and everything, the little pom-pom. Official Adidas right there. Thank you, Sports K. Thank you so, so much. I do appreciate the camouflage toque here. No one will know 
No one will see me coming with this. They sent this to me like so long ago. They were like, homie, I totally forgot you sent this. So there ain't no need for you to thank me. But thank you, Sports K. You are a dear, dear friend. Long time business partner. Well, not business partner, but long time goods, money for goods and services. Um, so this one here, brand new. Got that going for us. I'm not going to hold on. I'm not. I'm not going to hold on to this bag because I've got plenty. When I was clearing this out, I was like, I'm good. I will just recycle that away. And right here is a third jersey for an Eastern Conference team. Tri-state area, and a jersey I didn't think that I would be actually picking up. But you know what? Now, honestly, looking at it, it still looks weird. But, hey, it's my, ki it's my ki kind of weird. And that is the New, Je New, De New Jersey Devils jersey jersey. Look at that. The New Jersey Devils jersey, jersey. Hey, what is this? It's a jersey. Of who? Jersey. Kind of want to get the hat that says hat now. I've seen uh, Shannon, the uh, hockey guy, have that. That looks amazing. So... This actually, this actually, you know what, looks pretty cool. I will give it up for the back. The stripes, three of them on the front, and then the two on the back across the Adidas. And as Sports K said, these numbers are different, and I will give it that. These numbers do look different. And like I said, this is a factory install. This thing... Let me show you the, the, the tag. The tag has the ones, if you pick up a player one, the NHLPA. So it wasn't a, a third, a third uh, party installer. But I'll, show, I'll, start, I'll start you with this right here. I mean, it, it looks to be like one, one, but also not it's weird to tell you exactly what i mean but it on the back it is one one sort of seam across the outside but man like in that 13 or like in this three you can see what that is and i will say it is an upgrade from those vinyls, I mean, I just showed it to you. Uh, where did it go? Yeah, no, no, not that one. This one. The old vinyls were just one layer, and you could see how there was no stitching between the black and the white. But this one, it has tactile feel difference this red feels separate from the black which feels separate from the red and it is an upgrade it does look better than than this guy right here it it does it does okay um that's that's awesome um yeah, actually, Sports K, they only had this in a 60. And I was like, oh, that's that's got to be. There's a reason now, man, to pick this up. But I will show you on, on the front here, this jersey, the red on there does look real nice. The script looks nice. I'll give... The jersey this but man does it have a lot of stripes 
So it definitely will have that old school feel. And again, why? No need, no need at all for that. But let's uh, let's let's slap on the jersey jersey. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how the jersey jersey. Hey, you got a jersey. Hey, it's a jersey. Hey, you got a jersey. I do. I have a jersey. There it is. I do dig the little bits of red in it. I was just kind of hoping. When I heard the Devils finally had a third. Kind of hoping it was the black with the regular jersey logo on it. I was kind of hoping this would end up here. Not even a, not even the devil horns or the, the devil tail anywhere on here, but still, it looks nice. And yeah, um, I wasn't going to pick this one up. I'll be very honest, but yeah, you know, I just kind of like, you know what? There's not that many New Jersey Devils jerseys. There's really, well, from what I have still in this collection, it is that home one that I showed you there. And their beautiful reverse retro with Heischer on the back as well. So now this is the third one that joins the jersey pile. And yeah, yeah. All right, so that'll do it. I decided I wasn't just going to make you a video that just showed, hey, look, I put some new lights in and I uh, thinned it out a bit so that the thing wouldn't explode before I change it out. It's like, you know what, let me give, uh, let me give the friendos a nice little bit of a video, some Eastern Conference love. Because, oh yeah, the Eastern Conference doesn't get enough love on TV now, though, does it? No, all of those Eastern, Con all those Western Conference games we get to choose from. But, anyway, friendos, what do you think? Yeah, let me just cut off the lights here. What do you guys think of this right here? Got the nice little light going here. Like I said, just 20 bucks. At, uh, at Costco, I assume if you have Sam's Club or whatever the equivalent uh, north of the border may be. Maybe they've got this. Add a little bit of life to your set or your area, your gaming zone, whatever it may be outside your porch. I found a good reason for it here, and I dig it. So, friendos, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I want to thank each and every one of you for making it to the end. 20 plus minutes. If you made it here, you'll make it anywhere. All right. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the two jerseys that I unboxed. And until we meet again, I will talk to you guys later.